Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome today to part 5 of the Smackdown vs Raw 2011 story Straight Edge Society. I swear that intro is getting more and more of a mouthful every time. But where we left off last episode was right here at Wrestlemania where we're about to go ahead and take on Rey Mysterio or take on CM Punk. I forget which one we're supposed to be but I'm pretty sure we're CM Punk. I mean to say this story is called Straight Edge Society we've spent a lot of time not being CM Punk. But we are being CM Punk in this one I'm pretty sure and we're here at Wrestlemania 26. The leader of the Straight Edge Society versus the master of the 619. This was a pretty great match in real life and I'm excited to play this one and of course stipulation is if Rey Mysterio loses he has to join the Straight Edge Society. In fact no what am I talking about that wouldn't make any sense if we were being CM Punk. We're being Rey Mysterio and we've got to win or else we have to join the Straight Edge Society and that's not what happened in real life so I'm pretty sure that's not what happens here. Sorry this is a messy start to the video okay it's it's Wednesday NXT's live tonight AEW starting I'm I'm flustered. But anyway yeah we are being Rey Mysterio okay here we go. Oh here we go and again with that spike DDT to CM Punk. Oh nice counter by CM Punk okay I've got to say I really like the kickout system in this game. Like, it's not too crazy. I mean, to be fair though, they did do a great job with the kickout system in 2K19. Like, it's pretty challenging in 2K19. Sometimes it's kind of cheese though. Like, the speeds are kind of weird sometimes. But anyway, this is not about 2K19. 2K19 is about to be a thing of the past in like 20 days. WWE 2K20 is on the horizon, baby, and I'm excited. But right now, I'm playing my favorite WWE game of all time, so life is good. But anyway, here we go. And again, that DDT. I love the animation so much, and I love how the moves in this game have like, it changes camera angles when you hit a lot of the moves. Like, for example, you see here hitting with that DDT again. I mean, I think the moral of this entire series is, hey, Deontay DDJ really likes SmackDown vs Raw 2011, doesn't he? I'm sorry, man. This is just, it's such a good game. Anyway, here we go. Another DDT spike in him. Oh, wait a minute. CM Punk with an Irish whip throwing us to the outside almost. And there we go. Speaking of CM Punk, I've been hearing a lot of CM Punk returning rumors lately. I don't know how true any of them are. I try not to pay attention to them too much because it's like, I've been hearing CM Punk return rumors since I was like 14 years old, since he left. Oh, shit. The referee said, don't think I won't come you out this man. this man this referee is out here yeah like i've been hearing cm punk return rumors for years now i just you know if it happens it happens but i'm not gonna believe anything until i literally hear court of personality or i see him standing in the middle of the ring guy seems happy enough doing what he's doing now you know he's married to the amazing aj mendez he's writing comic books he's doing the ufc thing he's been in movies just let the man live his life if he comes back he comes back but if he doesn't i mean hey he had a great career i personally have accepted it at this point oh, wait a second look at this oh my god look at that animation oh, wait a minute he rakes us in the eyes okay come on big man just so much damage to him. How am I not on a finisher yet? What? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Spin around and hit him with that. Oh my god. And the referee just isn't gonna count it. Ref? Ref? Why? Alright then, Luke. You wanna go, big man? What just happened? What? I won by DQ. Um. Oh. And the referee is absolutely pissed at Luke Gallows. Does that mean I win? Did he really just cost me that challenge? I think I failed it. Or maybe I got through. I did it on a DQ. Okay, whatever. He's done it. Mysterio's done it. On the grandest stage of them all. Yeah, via DQ. Mysterio's heartfelt. Wait. He avoids joining the SES, but I doubt we've seen the last of CM Punk. But in WrestleMania, I mean, personally, my favorite of all time. Wait, that's it? It's literally just taking me back to the main menu. I think that's it. It literally just brought me back to the main menu where you can fight in the ring. I think that's at the end of the story. I mean, okay, I guess. Wow, what a great ending to the series. I win on disqualification. Oh my god. But I guess that's where the Straight Edge Society story in SBR 2011 comes to an end. Sorry this was a little bit of a shorter final episode. I genuinely thought we'd go further than WrestleMania or else I would have just put this on the end of last episode. But nevertheless, next up on SBR 2011, we'll be taking a look at the Animal Unleashed story, which I'm assuming focuses on Batista. And so that sounds really interesting to me. I'm very excited to get to that one, but that'll be, of course, in the next SBR 2011 video. But overall, if you did enjoy this story and this series, then go ahead and drop a like on it, as it really does help me out this more YouTube a lot more than you think. And also, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any great upcoming content on the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and that's been it. Too sweet.